Hello everyone. First of all, warm welcome to OCI training by Unogeeks. In this video, we'll see how to create compartments in OCI. Uh, before we create one, we'll first talk about uh, why do we need a compartment? What exactly is a compartment and why do we need them in OCI? And once we understand the reasons, then we'll go ahead and create a compartment and see and see how it works in OCI. Let's get started. So in the previous, yep, uh, first of all, let's talk about what a compartment is, and then we'll go ahead and create a compartment in OCI. Compartments let you organize and isolate your cloud resources into groups, and it makes it much more easier for you to manage them together. Okay, so by default, whenever you, by default, whenever uh, you create an uh, OCI instance, sorry, uh, whenever you, uh, whenever Oracle creates a tenancy for you, they would create a compartment called root compartment. And one thing you could, you could obviously do is you could, you could create all the resources within that particular root compartment. Meaning whenever you create a VCN or whenever you launch a compute instance or whenever you spin up a VM, you could, there's nothing that stops you from, uh, from uh, launching it within the root compartment. But if you do it that way, or two months down the line or three months down the line, it becomes very tedious or it becomes almost impossible to manage the resources effectively within the root compartment because you have everything in a single group or within a single compartment. It, 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 it makes it much more difficult to manage uh, uh, or restrict the access of users to the, to the resources. And you would also, it, it would also not be easily, it would also not be easy to identify what resources have been used for what project. And that's where uh, creating a compartments help. So the compartments, there are many benefits that compartments offer, but the two, the two key benefits would be that they let you organize resources and, and that would help you to control access as well. So when you, when you launch the resources, you would select uh, in which compartment you want to launch them. Like when you create a VCN, you had to select a compartment where you want to launch it. And, and when you um, say spin up a VM, you should also select the compartment where you want to put that resource. So if you use compartments, if you create a custom compartment and launch resources within it, then you could control access to them. Okay, you could, in the authorization policies, you could restrict or you, or you could mention the compartments in the authorization policies. We just discussed this in the previous video. So you could, you can, uh, in case you haven't watched that video, watch that first and then come back to this. So yes, a compartment let you organize resources as well as control access to them. This is one of the key benefits. And apart from that, it will also help you to track the billing by project. So what normally happens is, yep, any mid-size or, or, or a large scale client, uh, be, it, be it a banking client or, or a big four client or, or, uh, or any manufacturing company, anyone who uses OCA for that matter, any major player, they would of course have I have a uh, 50 plus projects running at any single point in time. And uh, they would be using us, uh, they won't create multiple tenancies within OIC. So they would create only single account in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure and typically a uh, one. And, and within OCI, they would, uh, yeah, they would, they would start uh, launching resources required for various projects in a single OCI tenancy. Okay, and what would happen with that? So if you, if you create a separate compartments for each project, say for example, you have, you have a fusion implementation project going on, or, or you, have, uh, you have say Salesforce implementation project going on, or you have another implementation, maybe a banking implementation project going on. So if you have uh, 10 different projects going on, you would create uh, 10 compartments, one for each project, and any resource that is launched for usage in that particular project, that would be launched into that compartment, and that would help you to track the billing. So if you if you go into the billing service, you would be able to see what services have been, uh, what resources have been launched in, in, in which compartment. So that would help you to track the billing as well. So this would, this would make, uh, this, this makes a significant difference. So you would, you would really appreciate this if you, if you have probably worked in a, uh, in a complex, uh, uh, I would say, uh, infrastructure environment, okay? So, and yes, whenever you create an OCI account, there would be a root compartment. So what Oracle will do is it will create a tenancy for you. 
you and the sensor client, and they would create a root compartment with the red. Okay, now let's go into the instance. Let's log into OCI, OCI console. I'm trying to log in using IDCS. And I'm logging in as administrator. And in here, so if you if you go into identity and security, you see an option called compartments in there. So you click on identity, and you would be see, able to see the see the list of IAM options available, and compartments is one among them. So if you look at the compartments, by default, there would be a root compartment created when, uh, when a client signs up for Oracle, Oracle Cloud account. So when, when Oracle creates a tenancy uh, for, a, for a client, so in, in my case, my tenancy name is BMROCI. And, and yes, there is a tenancy, there is a, there is a compartment called root compartment created under the tenancy. And any compartment you create within this, that would be a child compartment of the of the of the root so any compartment you create that would be the child of this so what does that mean that means yes you could have nested compartments you could have one compartment within another one and it could it could the, the nesting could could go six levels deep meaning you could have a c1 compartment one under that you could create c2 under that you could create c3 under that you could create c4 so it's like you can have a six levels of nesting in terms of compartments. How do you create a compartment? All you have to do is click on create new compartment and you can give it a name. So let's give it a name. We'll call it as a uh, Uno Geek Step compartment. Could give it a description. So this is yeah, that's okay, but can leave it blank. Or as you you just put in the same name as a description also, but in real time you have to give a proper description. And I want to create this compartment in a in a, a root compartment or under root compartment. And I can add tags to the compartment if I want. Uh, so what exactly is tagging? What options do we have? How does it help in OCI? Well, we'll probably talk about it in the next video. And all I have to do is hit this create compartment button that would create this compartment. And you see a new compartment created and you see that the number of sub compartments under root increases to three. So if you click on it, you could see the child compartments and under, under child compartments, you could see three compartments within it, right? And what's the compartment that we created just now? We created, you know, geeks hyphen day. You click on that. And of course, you could make changes to it if you want. And you could you could rename the compartment or edit the description. You could delete it, of course, and you could create child compartments as well. So if you want to create a child compartment, so you could probably say, you know, it's dev sub compartment one, create. So this is like creating a child compartment within you know geek step compartment so this way you could create up to six levels of uh of compartments so that, that the compartments can can have six levels of nesting you could see that there is a new compartment created now uh, called you know geek step sub compartment and it is lying within you know geek step and this comes under a, a root compartment and these compartments would let you would let you organize the resources and help you and it will help you from billing standpoint as well how does these compartments help so whenever you try to launch a resource within oci okay you try to spin up a vm you try to spin up a vm you have to put it in a compartment and by default it will be created in the root compartment and you could pick and choose in what compartment you want to launch this or spin up this a uh, compute instance if you want to launch this VM, so if you're if you're probably creating this a Linux server or a Windows machine for a you know Geek's dev project, you could select that compartment and launch the instance. And once you do it, it it would help you. So these compartments would help you 
from a billing standpoint as well as it would help you to restrict access to these instances or or any resource for that matter that is launched in the compartment and it's not only applicable only for the instances if any resource that you launch so you take the case of networking you try to create a vcm and you have to put it in a compartment so any resource you try to launch the second the second option that you see after the name would be the compartment where you want to place that place that particular resource that you are uh, launching okay so that's how the compartments help and these compartments yes you assign permissions to the compartments right so those the, the permissions that you assign to the compartments would cascade down to the child compartments so what that means is you probably will will talk more about it in the next instance so if you have a child compartments if you have a, a child compartments as we have seen earlier so we created let me go into that the compartments again we created this compartment under root and under this compartment you have got a child compartment right so if you create a policy and if you authorize or or if you grant permissions to this particular compartment or or if you attach a policy to this compartment then those uh, those permissions would cascade down to the child compartments as well so if you let a, a particular group or say for example if you take the case of network admins as admins group that we have used in a previous video if you grant permissions to that particular group to be able to manage vcns within this compartment by default those permissions cascade down to the child compartments we'll talk about it in detail in the next video okay so this is how you create a compartment and then you you could launch resources into the compartment after you do that and there's one more thing that would help you so you have something called as tenancy explorer this would help you to see what resources have been launched in what compartment so this is let me let me spend 2 minutes to show you this as well so if you go into a tenancy explorer so if you go into governance and administration under governance you see a tenancy explorer option earlier it used to be called as compartment explorer but it's renamed as tenancy explorer and if you go into tenancy explorer you could select a compartment and 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 within that you would be able to see what what resources have been provisioned in what compartment so if you see here so i could i could say i could see that there is uh, there are a couple of databases launched in the root compartment and i could also see a couple of web servers and and object storage buckets launched in the root compartment but if i have created a separate if i if i have created three or four compartments and if i have launched uh, different resources into different compartments i would be able to manage them from here and not just that i can also set a quota policies for the compartments meaning within a specific compartment if you don't want to let the admins a spin up more than 2 vms you can put in a compartment or put in put in a restriction like that okay so it helps you in in uh, in many perspectives so and what you could do is if you want to see only the resources launched in dev compartment you click on you know geek step you would you would see that there is only one resource launch which is a child compartment within that compartment nothing else has been launched in here but if you probably spin up a vm uh, in the you know geek step compartment that would show up here okay so this tenancy explorer or would help you to figure out what resources have been launched in what compartments compartments in in layman terms you you have compartments in train right what 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 do they help you what they help you to separate passengers into into blocks right so that's how that's that's how exactly the compartments work in oci as well and that's where it derives its name from okay in the next video we'll see uh, how how policies inherit uh, from one compartment to the or from compartment to the child compartments i okay, will see that uh, see the rex for that in detail in uh, in the next video please join me in that thank you very much for watching this video guys in case you are interested in oracle cloud infrastructure training oca training by you know geeks please call us on this number 7396033355 or you can drop us a note on info@youknowgeeks.com thank you very much